It's a script-led thing, and obviously the, the action for the scene. And then it's to do with the look of the world they're in and where they live, the kind of food they'd have, the money they have the facilities. Most of it is prop food, so it might be real food, but it's then being glazed and varnished so it can sit on the table for an amount of time without sort of perishing. We have the edible food for the repeat for the people that should be eating you know, meat or, or, or bread, but um, it's nice to get big sculptural shapes and pieces and you can actually treat it just like a prop um, and make it, mould it and then and paint it. And uh, if you don't have to eat it, it can be solid, it doesn't rot, it's, it's an easy way of doing it. King's Landing, it's very opulent. It's a hot, sunny country, very colourful, so sort of no expense spared. So we've mixed it with very exotic fruits, which we've um, sort of ordered specially in, added a lot more colour to food, and mixed up things like couscouses with coloured berries and still meat and fish, and just really heighten the colours, put a lot of food colouring in some of the breads and saffrons and reds, a lot of pinks, and just made it as colourful as possible to look like it's very, very exotic, opulent, no expense spared food, which is more the, the Mediterranean, you know, sunny sort of uh, produce you'd expect. So Winterfell is far more basic, you know, they haven't got the, the money and the, the produce is different, they're further north, so it's a lot of meat basically and some, you know, we've got some colours into the root vegetables and things like that. A little bit of fruit, but less. I mean, the fruit's a big kind of King's Landing thing, but up there, it's quite bleak, it's sort of, it's, you know, permanent winter, so it's more root vegetables and meat. So the idea for Castle Black is that they're very poor, it's the cheapest cuts of rancid meat you can imagine made into a very basic stew. And, you know, meat stew can look sort of appetising, it's, you know, dark brown, and got a nice rich gravy, so we went with a grey, slimy, chewy look. So it looks almost like gloopy whale meat somehow, it's, um, but it is actually, it's, it's all edible. But again, with flour and food colouring to get the blacks and the greys in there. And we tried all sorts of gristly bits and pieces without making it too revolting for the actors. So it looks foul, but actually it tastes like normal meat stew, but it looks disgusting. It looks like you wouldn't want to touch it. They slaughter animals, chop it up for the stew. So we had a few fibreglass pigs, but most of it's fresh in there, which adds a bit of sort of uh, reality to the set.